dam. All right, guys, we are back. I am here with my good buddy that has a Hellcat. What's going on? So, a lot of you guys are probably looking at this and know this part is not factory, which you would honestly think that the Hellcat would come with an option with the this, this sticker. Like that's, it's gnarly. I mean, Dodge, Dodge trucks come with sticker packages, they do. but the Hellcat doesn't. Now, a lot of guys are probably judging him hella hard right now because it's a Hellcat four door. You wanna go get gapped by a family sedan? Here you go. <laughs> like, I, I love this thing. I've been watching him build this thing on Facebook for quite, quite some time now, probably what, a good eight, nine months now. Yeah. Literally, I saw pictures of this when he first kind of got it, and this thing has changed 110%. See, what I like most about this is it has slotted brakes with the Brembos. Now, now is that a uh, factory option? Or yeah, is that? That's, yeah, it's completely stock. That's, that's how it came. That's yeah. stock. Man. So I know you've done a few things here. Now, you, what year is this? You said 16? This is 16. And you did the 19 grill swap. I did. So for you guys that don't understand that, I guess literally the only thing they really changed on the new body style is the grill. Yeah, the grill changed. The front grill here didn't have these two ports on either side, which they're actually functional on the 19. They used for the cold air intake, which I have not connected up yet. But uh, other than, yeah, other than <laughs> the wheel option, pretty much that changed between 16 and 19. Huh. So it's not like a Subaru where literally all they did was change the front bumper. <laughs> right. Right. From the 15 to 17 is a different bumper than the 18, 19, and coming up 20. Right, right. That's exactly. And then the badge changed a little bit. That badge is actually a 19 badge. The original one just said SRT. The 19 has the actual. Oh, right. Okay. Right, yeah. I, I just love this thing so much. Like, you just don't see Hellcats in, in, in this. Like, you, you normally see the, the two door. I, I always get them confused. It's Challenger. Charger. Char this is the. Ch I, see, the right. thing, why would right. you have them both seen? Right. Like I always get confused. <laughs> and then back in the day, the Charger was actually a two door. Yeah. So that's where there's a lot of hate. Well, if you're gonna get a Charger, why does it have four doors? Yada yada yada. It's four doors, more horse. Well. <laughs> and that's more of a camera crew you can hold while racing people right. too. Let's see if he's. Oh, he actually left it unlocked. Uh, uh, it's because we're in an abandoned restaurant parking lot. <laughs> well, I mean, you got a bowling alley there, but that's over there. It still smells new. Now, did this come with the double key? It does. I usually only just run the red key with it. Uh, but so, if you if you want to, you can actually, there's three horsepower options that you can use from the console. Oh. So you can turn it down, call it valet mode. You can actually put in a passcode. Uh, it'll knock it down like 350 horsepower. So what? You, yeah, so if you're taking your car to the garage or you're taking it somewhere. You don't want buddy, them beating on it. Right. Mm. But when you first turn it on, it defaults to 500 eco mode right off the bat. Five, 500, 500 eco, eco mode. mode. Why, right. why, why would you want an eco mode on 500 horsepower? <laughs> you actually go through, and then once you hit the SRT mode, you need to do track or sport, bumps it up, and it changes the suspension and everything to the, the 700 bucks. Hmm. Now, if you. So you, you don't need the other key to make this stupid fast. You need to have the red key. Oh. If you have the black key, you can't get into sport track. Oh, so you only run the fast key. Ah. Why, why not? This guy. So, what did this run you? So, getting it, I actually purchased this from Michigan. Michigan. Uh, Michigan, yeah, I had it shipped out here. Um, got a way better deal out there. Oh, I'm sure. It was about 50. 50 Gs, so. 50 stacks. Now little, for you little, Subaru guys, that is an RA. <laughs> a little, little over 50, but but stock, yeah. It wasn't. Now how many miles were on this when you bought it? Uh, there was five. Miles? 5K. Oh, 5,000. Yeah. So it was still practically brand new. Yeah, yeah. It so it was probably like a, a lease or, you know. It was actually. Was it a lease? Yeah. So what are these new, like 70 then? Right now, I actually looked, uh, the 2019, I think, without getting all like the, the audio package and like all those stuff, I think they were, they were like 65. Oof. Yeah. Or you can just buy a really nasty looking Subaru it's, for thirty thousand. You can buy two nasty. Yeah. <laughs> like this thing is just 
nasty. I mean, now, now that that is a downfall right there. You, you know, passengers have really no room. So what's yeah. the what's the point of having a four door if car seats? That that's literally that's, it. That's Either that or you get midgets with it. You're right. That means right. like, see that that's my biggest complaint with any manufacturer anymore is they're like, yeah, we have a four door car. Now, mind no, you, you have a two door car. Right. Like, <laughs> now, mind you, I'm almost six foot four. So yeah. having the seat cranked back, you know, if you have your average five foot nine guy, I mean, there's probably a little more leg room, but yeah, you know, for, for me, uh, that that's a big thing. You're, like, not, you're not having a lot. I mean, now with the Subaru, I mean, I don't, I don't think I have anything in the back seat that I can show you, but like, look at that leg room. Like, you got leg room. Yeah, there's leg room for days. There's, I mean, now granted, that seat's like normal, and then mine's, you know, see, I can't right. sit the whole way back in mine. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm six foot two, and I can still go back two clicks, and then I can't touch the pedals. I look like a short, short girl. <laughs> right. I'm just like, eh. <laughs> right. But I mean, there, there's still so much room back there. Yeah. Now, granted, I use behind my seat as a little garage back there. I have like airlines, and <laughs> because, you know, I really don't feel like slapping the wing back to get all of my air tank and everything but but, uh, but in all reality that's right you know my car is actually Some, shorter than yours substantial leg room yeah and i'm shorter and i have a lot more leg room now grant yeah you, you're a boat though so. yeah oh yeah oh yeah <laughs> you know dodges are boats oh yeah but dude even like the seats i mean like look at like the depth of the seat i know like, look like how, just it's so tall gigantic. too like why is it even like this one here it's just like it's like just they're, 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 yeah, they're huge. The lazy boys. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so you get some comfort when you have one. Now, you guys should remember the uh, the video with Yvonne and I with the white Mustang. So he almost has the same spoiler duckbill as he does, but his is tinted. I like that. It's not clear. See, I, I see a lot of guys starting to run this style, and I actually 110% approve because it's not your normal duckbill. It's just... It adds character. You have right. a little bit of class to it. Yeah, you didn't have to take off or change anything with the stock. So. Oh, okay. So this is your stock this spoiler. Is the stock spoiler is on it. So this is like a gurney too. flap then. Oh, okay. Right. It's inexpensive. I know nothing about dodges. <laughs> Not a lot of uh, hassle to put it on. So. Uh, look at his basic white girl license plate. Yeah, you like. It. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm, is that an A3 II cat? <laughs> now, what, how much does this weigh? Oh, that is a good question. Oh man, I forget. He a doesn't lot. know his car. A lot. Well, they're, they're, no, they're not more than 5,000, are they? Uh, they're probably around pretty, like. They're pretty darkness, though. So, so y'all go and joke about it being a boat. Man. Yeah, that's, they're a land yacht, dude, like they're heavy. Uh, but, you know, that that's like a thing I put on Facebook years ago, it's like Ford and Chevy are both like, screw it, let's go to a V6 turbo, lightweight, aerodynamics, right. let's go. Dodge is like, screw you, We're not doing that. put a big ass motor in there and go. Like, <laughs> it's just like the 60s, you know, put a bigger block in it and just take her down the strip. Like, <laughs> Dodge, Dodge is stuck in the past. And they're, they're yeah. I mean, eh. I mean, their cars are cool, but, I don't know. Heavy. Yeah, they're 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 heavy. But I guarantee you this thing would walk me for days. In a straight line. Yeah. <laughs> don't put a curve in there. <laughs> <laughs> you pull a Mustang and just start swerving all over the place. <laughs> this thing, if you have it in, in the sport mode or track mode, you can't drive it like around town. It just it doesn't work. Really? Every stop sign, every stoplight you step on, back wheels just spin. You actually have to keep it in eco mode in order to actually drive through town. Well, you're on snow tires, that's why. I mean, that also doesn't help. But we, we literally found that out as soon as we pulled in here. That doesn't, that doesn't help. But, yeah, so. Put some fatties on there, bro. Oh. Put some DOT slickies oh. on there, bro. <laughs> now, a lot of you guys, now you guys know me, I normally do like a tuner or something that actually has like a suspension or something like that. You know, like a Vaughn, he's American Muscle, but he's on bags. I got a lot of tuners on my channel, but I don't know. I thought I'd mix it up a little bit with this guy here and uh, come check out his his land yacht. Ooh, look at that old what is it, Corvette. Yeah. You guys probably didn't see that. That's what I hate about GoPro. You can't zoom in. Yeah. But um, actually, guys, I'm really surprised my GoPro hasn't took a crap yet. Like on my last video, it just stopped recording. It's a piece of junk. Don't buy the Hero White. 
Just because it's cheap does not mean it's good. But, oh, I didn't even notice your, your door sills there. That's cool. Now, is that wrap as well, or is that Yeah, actually... that, that was also done with the, uh, with the outside exterior. wrap here, yeah. Huh. Oh, my God. Ugh, that door's so that heavy. So. Oh! I don't need to go to the gym today now. <laughs> no wonder why you're so buff. Yeah. You're opening and closing <laughs> the doors. <laughs> but, all right, guys. Um, maybe I can convince this guy to let's go for a rip and see what what the hype is about these Hellcats. I've never been in one, and you guys know I'm used to... Oh. It's because it's not heavy. That's right. <laughs> see... You guys know I'm used to slow, low and slow. Let's go see what this thing can do. So, why do you have such a big bezel and such a little screen? It's decoration. Why was my hand in that? Okay, so here, <laughs> here we have. <laughs> oh, I hate GoPros. I mean, look at that. It's like the size of Connecticut. And it's pretty long. Yeah, we hey, jamming. Oh, that, that's pretty cool, actually. I like that. You have your little drive line. Yeah, so you can actually change it based off of different race options. But there's so much cool. Oh, there we there go. Now, oh, they're still clear, though. We're, we're working on it. So, huh. Track mode and then, like, eco mode is what it's usually based on. You can actually feel the suspension kind of shift. Really? When you, yeah, so like. Oh you, god. If you actually. You feel that? Yeah, that was weird. You can actually feel the shift as it goes through the different. It, it, like, it lurks. Like, yeah, because the suspension's kind of stiffened up. That's weird. So. Alright, guys, if I die, <laughs> someone come get my Subaru. <laughs> so, like, track mode, and then what you actually can do, you can set up to kind of watch. Your, uh, Don't launch into that pole right there, though. That pole right there? Yeah, that, that right pole. Right towards that pole? Yeah, do insurance, it. Insurance, what? Yeah. <laughs> this is not an insurance fraud. <laughs> Performing performance pages. Wow, he doesn't have a map. He has a page. Pages. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. That's what $50,000 gets you. <laughs> you get a cool screensaver. <laughs> That's not your car, though. That's red. So, Ooh, look at that. so just kind of keep an eye on your different horsepower torque things like wow, that. I have two horsepower right now. <laughs> See, yeah, it could be like we went up to 160 horsepower. That's it, out of 700. <laughs> like I said, guys, if I die, we are at Clear Blue Lanes, and now Joy, someone come get my car. <laughs> Somebody help me. That's one thing I hate about pulling out here. You got people over there trying to pull out. Yeah. So I guess it's a good thing I don't have my gimbal because like you, you get the, the lurking. Yeah. <laughs> the gimbal would just be like That's why just driving in like just regular traffic and track mode is it's kind of like inconvenient. It's <laughs> like every like you go, you stop, you go, you stop. You stop. Alright guys, we are at zero horsepower right now. It's like a Honda Civic. <laughs> See, that's actually really cool. Like, it gives you your, your miles per hour, your horsepower, your torque, See, your gear. The thing is, that messes with you. Oh, really? Because you watch it, and you can never get it to hit 700. You're <laughs> like, what do I have to do to this thing to utilize all the horsepower? Oh, my God. See, it's 4, 440, 480. <laughs> I couldn't even get the camera like, away from where like, it was. <laughs> what do I have to do? Uh lose about a thousand pounds off the body <laughs> there's nowhere around here that's other than going to like a street track there's nowhere that is um 81 in harrisburg at two o'clock in the morning on a tuesday night <laughs> what are these little things called the uh, deer you know they... <laughs> well look at the bugatti veyron at 200 and some miles an hour just vaporizes the deer so you'd be all right, right. 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 <laughs> so at that speed it's either going to destroy you and kill you or it's going to vaporize the deer in front of you <laughs> so one thing you know, with any rear wheel drive. <laughs> you want to turn traction control off. It's, yeah. <laughs> well, it automatically does that when you go into sport mode. Really? But this gives you kind of like your, uh, like your G-force. As long as you don't break those peaks, in theory, your car should remain in control. <laughs> should. 
<laughs> so obviously it's an issue with a car like this, you know. With snow tires. With snow tires. <laughs> with it not snowing. But <laughs> it's like you know. it's 60 while it is 61 degrees out, it might snow. It's Pennsylvania. It Sorry guys if I keep plugging that little hole in the side of GoPro. I'm learning. Yeah, I realized on my last video, it's just like you hear it's like la la hello. Because I keep I keep plugging the mic hole. Build snossages. Yeah. Well and there's be so small. So what's your fuel mileage in this thing? It's actually uh, almost 19. Stop it. Yeah. Yeah, it's almost uh, 19. We <laughs> broke it! Oh, dude, race a smart car. You gotta get <laughs> Gapple bees! Yeah, you hammer this thing and it's still, you gotta, I don't know, I'm not sure what you have to do to get it to this full potential. I mean, we hit like six something. Yeah, but still, it's not 700. I know. Full of advertising with that, my Dodge. Just always run out of space. Yeah. yeah. I should have like a high boost engine. <laughs> ready for it. Are you ready to get taken to Gapple Bees? Are you ready? One, two, three! <laughs> Phew. So that's one thing, I don't know if you guys can see that with the, the hood scoop. Or actually, I'll, I'll try and place it like here. Oh my god, you're breaking. <laughs> They're like I noticed out my Subaru too with the hood scoop, your hood just it bobs. It, it scares you. And you can even start to feel it in the like, steering wheel. Now yes. You start to feel it, it just starts bobbing. Yeah. Yes. I, I get that all the time. The Subaru too. Now I know mine's not fast, but after like 80 miles an hour, you actually watch the hood flap. Yeah. And it scares you because you think you're, it's gonna fly open. Right. But you're just like, oh god. It's <laughs> like game over. Yeah. See, it's been so long since I've actually been in a fast car. See, I was with um, Senate Steve one time when he still had the C5 on nitrous, and we we hit a we, we launched it somewhere in you know, Mexico, you know, of course. In Mexico. And uh, literally, that has like that just throws in the seat. This car actually makes you kind of nauseous when you slam on it. Yeah, it's it, 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 it like sends your guts up. And like I haven't, I've never experienced that. It's kind of weird. And that's the one thing I said, even when I bought the car, like about the seats. I was like, yeah, these seats are kind of like, especially being like a bigger guy, like these seats are kind of like, like they hold you like in, yeah. in place. Yeah, that's and actually what I like, cause like the- And then now you see why, it's just like- It, it just goes. Like, it's just weird though. Like I've never had a car make me want to like throw up. But what's cool is like, I could give this car to my mom and put it in eco mode, she could drive it just fine. Yeah. You know, and it's, that's the kind of cool thing about this car is it's so like versatile, like it just- and Unlike you know, Subaru, it's all or nothing. It, right. Unless you change the map. You know, or even like, you know, your Mustangs or like your Corvettes and stuff like that. It's like, it's just balls to the wall all the time. My old, that old Camaro I had, same way. It's 550 horsepower, balls to the wall all the time. Yeah, that, that's the only downfall. Like, now, granted, with like Subarus, I can change my map. They gotta yield. You better yield, because we're gonna win! Oh my god. <laughs> it's so hard holding this GoPro. It just slams. Oh man. You know, I'm done talking trash on Dodges now because this thing is gnarly fast for being a stock production car. That I mean, that it's, it's, yeah. it's mechanically it is stock. For the most part, yeah. Yeah. It's I mean you don't have any suspension, you don't have exhaust, you don't have you don't have really any motor. Nothing. You don't have an intake. intake nothing. Really? It's, it's completely stock. So this is one hundred percent stock and it wow. There's a company out of Texas that does uh, it'll it'll change to all wheel drive. Which that would be a game changer. Well, see, that's my only complaint with Dodge is the new Chargers. The only way you can get them in all-wheel drive is if you buy the V6. Correct. Which why would no? Right. Like, you don't have enough. Like not great. Yeah, V6s. If you twin turbo them, you can make power like sure. EcoBoost. But 
like in the V6, you don't have enough power to like fly. You know, I mean, think about it. If, if you make this car 700 wheel horsepower, all wheel drive, all -wheel drive. That is game changer. Imagine the playing in the snow. Yep. Yeah, so this company I said out text they do it. I, I was looking into it for a little bit. It's a fairly pricey endeavor, but. Uh, oh, I'm sure. Because you got you, you you need a whole new drive line. Right. What are they What are they looking at for? Probably Every, like ten grand. Yeah. Is it really ten grand? There's actually, uh, I think it was El Paso. They have uh, one of their Highway Patrol. They bought a Hellcat. Stop. And they did it for them. Yeah. Made it all wheel drive. Wow. Well, you got the was it two K Texas or whatever down yeah. there. So you got like them thousand horsepower cars just ripping around. Well, this is um, at least we got a few rips out of it. Yeah. Um, now we're flying past signs so fast. We are in Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> this is Mexico. See, for my Subaru, I have to go to Spain. It comes so slow. Right, right, right. I, I don't get the no auto bus. Right? Yeah, I I can't go to Mexico because that's for like fast cars. Right. <laughs> I actually said that to somebody one time. They're like, what? what? They didn't get it. Because you got to think Spain. They're Spanish too, I think. Well, <laughs> uncultured swine. <laughs> I'm going to edit that out. <laughs> <laughs> There's Messix in Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> that was our main plan. <laughs> yep. For the Kubota. Oh, man. Well, that was fun. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, and the thing is, and also, it's, it's like a smooth ride, you know? It really is. Like, the, granted, I'm on bags, which a lot of people ask me all the time, oh, is, is riding on bags like riding on cloud? Hell to the no, because I performance bags, so they're, they're bumpy. But, dude, like, this is like a Cadillac. Yeah. It's so... Dude, this would be nasty with a Whipple charger. You can kind of hear... Ooh. A little bit. Or a Pro charger. Oof. Oof. But... Oof. Oh man, well that was fun. But yeah, it's, we didn't die, no, so no one has to worry about getting my Subaru. Uh, <laughs> you know, for how big this car is, this thing gets up and moves. It does. It, it's it really does. surprising. Like that. Is your window tinted? Your window yeah. Tinted? I know you guys can't see it, but it's really screwing with me because it it's it like is. I'm wearing my my Oakley polarized sunglasses, and it just like so like colors <laughs> yeah, yeah. like i saw that when we were parked but it's like it's weird like, yeah it is it's like a coffin in here it is i love it it's now like, you don't get pulled over for that do you um it's one of those things where it it's such a minor equipment violation that okay unless you go through like hershey or <laughs> yeah everyone has you know different things that they hammer but uh yeah it's i've never had any issues with it as of yet i mean i can't it came like that oh really yeah oh from factory no like, yeah, right. <laughs> Yeah, when I got it from Michigan, I guess they have different. You know, oh, different Michigan walls. just doesn't give a so, show. Yeah. So. Well, so now, do you have to get re window tint every time you get inspected? You know what I thought I did, but somehow the guy at the inspection was able to get the stickers off without messing with the tent. Stop it. Yeah. I, that just that just caught my eye. Like you guys right. can see, like it's not cut around. No, or anything. you take like you know you don't really take a razor blade through. So I don't know how he gets it off, but uh, yeah, <laughs> that's the third time it's been on there. Oh, no, it We're not gonna. Well, actually, we could give that shop a shout out because your car can pass inspection with window tint. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, there's actually a loophole on that. Apparently, it does. Which doesn't make sense. Like you can get pulled over for window tint, but dang it, you can get your car inspected with limo. Oh, there, like, there's a lot of stuff <laughs> like that. You can get, you know. Well, that's like you don't need a bumper cover for 364 days of the year. All you need a bumper cover is for inspection. You're right. Like, right. but cop can still pull you over for it. Right. Like what? That's exactly. It. Oh man. All right guys, so that is, oh look at that, look at that super cool Subaru over there guys. Wow, I bet that guy is so gay. Wow. Shame if something were to happen to it. Yeah, yeah shame, shame if 700 if horsepower just went right into really the really side of it. <laughs> Do it, you won't. <laughs> I got it on video. <laughs>